All right, we are back, and yes, you're seeing correctly, I'm in the mystical lands of Kunark once again. In fact, the last time I was here, I think this is where I left off. Oh boy, a lot's happened. Not a ton that's noteworthy. So in this episode, my plan is to talk about the Karanas, and I put a, I did a poll at the end of my video last time. I asked people to comment on their favorite Karana, and I also did a poll on my YouTube channel. So I'll talk about that. But first, a quick explanation. I am basically running somewhere, and I don't want to spoil it, although I, I tend to just put these things in the title of my video when I say I don't want to spoil it. Um, contradict myself a little bit there. I'm going to film this run because the last time... Oh my god, this is one of these bard things where the bard swarm kites. Kills a bunch of mobs at once. Uh, I, uh... Okay, I'm trying not to get too distracted. So basically, the last time I... No, not the last time I lost footage, but the last time I was on Kunark, I lost footage. So two times ago that I lost footage, I failed to film the run that I did to get from Kern's Tower to the Over There Outpost. So I will show that run now. And... I played around a little bit here. I killed a Kunark Rhino. It was blue. It was in this weird little corner of the zone where stuff is in like the late teens, early 20s. And then I ran to get a sew from someone. And as you can see here on the right side of the box, I got killed by a much higher level Kunark Rhino. So that sucked. And then I had to... Fortunately, someone in Dialaport named Woodsare picked me up in Steampunk and ported me to Skyfire. I could have filmed that, but by the way, that's an example, that blue one there of the uh, stuff on this side of the zone being much lower level. My corpse is still in this zone. I could have filmed that, but I was kind of just pissed off because I died. <laughs> I died because I was trying to run to this guy at the Frontier Mountain zone line who had was going to give me a Spirit of Wolf. So, I tried to run and get a so, and I ended up dying from a Kunark right now. But see, the, the ones on this side, well, that one actually is High level. I don't know. It's it's a weird zone. What's this guy? Hmm. Conscripts. Those might actually be shaman. So, I'm also on a new recording setup, so let me know if this looks too weird or funky, or maybe it doesn't look different at all. I don't know. I'll find out when I edit and upload. I'm pretty sure YouTube just compresses everything. So, I wanted to show one thing, and I'm about to talk about the, uh, these are not KOS, I'm about to talk about the Karana thing. Hey, there's a Shaman. And he's yellow. Wow, interesting. Oh, there's a lot more people in this zone earlier. When I died. 22 Shaman. Cool. I have a pretty fresh so, so I don't need to get it. So, the one thing I wanted to show before I zone into War Slick Woods, is it Slick or Slicks? It's Slicks. Oh, this is really confusing. It's War Slicks Wood. So it's not War Slick Woods. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the thing I wanted to show that I did show in my lost footage. Oh man, my levitate's about to fade. That druid was so kind, by the way, to pick me up for free. Because I didn't have any money. I was naked. You know, I was just sitting in Steam Fun. I jokingly said I wanted to go from SF to SF. I wanted to show this uh, statue here. This statue resembles... Kind of what the developers were trying to show about Kunark, which is to say that, to put it briefly, once the Shisar were removed from Kunark and the Ixar were freed from their shackles, they pretty much had the run of this continent, with the exception of the Ring of Scale, who I, I don't, <clears throat> I would need to really deep dive the lore. I know that they had some run-ins with the Ring of Scale dragons, but, uh, I don't know how that went in terms of, like, who really dominated the continent. But my understanding is the developers are trying to show you that the Sh Ixar dominated the content continent for quite a long time. This zone line always confuses the hell out of me. Like, what? What? I guess I go this way. The, uh, the Ixar dominated this continent for quite a while. The, the golden age of the Ixar, I guess you could say. And the reason why it's called the Ruins of Kunark is because they don't dominate anymore. In fact, they got dominated by Trakanon and some others. 
And so that was just a nice little lore bit I wanted to show. Kunark does have some okay lore. Ooh, did I just see a dark elf? Okay, so I'm gonna run, and there's a couple of ways I can do this run. Turkey Sandwich. What a name. Oh my god, look at this! Right there. This is gonna be a little dangerous, isn't it? What is Turkey Sandwich? He's a warrior. Well, he can't really help him then, can he? Alright, well, I'll try to focus on this run. So, okay, let's talk about the Karanas. So, at the end of my last episode, I asked, Hey, oh, Happy New Year, by the way. I asked, hey, uh, which is your favorite Karana zone? I know it's kind of a tough question. I had trouble myself. Jesus. Giant right there. I had some trouble answering that myself. I really hoped that Levitate would have lasted through this part. But alas. Uh, I did vote in the poll, but I'll, I'll put the poll results up now. Overwhelmingly, people said South Corona, which I'm not surprised that South Corona was the favorite. I am surprised by how much it was the favorite. It was it got the majority of the votes. I mean, over 50%, that's a majority. That shocked me a bit. By the way, one of the things about Kunark that's so cool is the trees move. I remember when I read a review for the Ruins of Kunark expansion back in 2000 in one of those game magazines. I don't know if it was EGM or Game Informer or whatever. They talked about how the trees sway. So, I'm just running through this zone. I'm not going to talk about this zone too much. Um, hopefully I will run through without... Oh, thank God someone's killing these. Hopefully I'll run through without too much issue. So, I will admit that I voted in the poll, and after a lot of consideration, I voted for the North Karana zone as my favorite. The reason I said North Karana after a lot of back and forth was... <laughs> I should have done this as post-commentary. This is so scary. I do love that, like, Ixars can come here. I love this area for level, like... 22-ish to 25, 28 maybe. So I spent quite a bit of time on this server especially as a druid where I would constantly port to North Karana because that's where people want to go, one of the places. And every time I ported there, I would look on track, I would hit anonymous so that people wouldn't ask me for, tells, or for ports and I would look for Hill Giants, because those are great money. Uh, hold on, let me consult my map here. Left. Okay, yeah. Right is to Cabalus. Definitely not welcome there. That kind of ingratiated North Karana with me more than the other zones. And I just spent a lot of time there. And it just became very comfortable for me. And as I was reading the comments in the last video, I saw a wide range of responses of why people thought their favorite zone was their favorite zone. It surprised me a bit, but I, it kind of came down to that for a lot of people. Like, what zone do you feel the most comfortable in? And South was just probably where a lot of people spent most of their leveling time during a certain level range. North was the next most common, at least on the, uh, on the poll. And that's the one I voted for. I thought West would be last because I think it's the one with just the least... I don't want to say this as an insult, but it's the one with the most wasted space. And... Or just empty space, maybe I'll say. It ended up being East that had the lowest number of votes. And that surprised me a little bit. I... I okay. Okay. Let me, let me talk about why I think South was most people's favorite. So North was just the most comfortable for me. It's the one I spent the most time in. I also think, you know, when I think about that music that they play at the bridge in both North, East, and South Karana, for me, what immediately comes to mind is North Karana. And I think about the Spire music. Um, I think about who? I think about Hill Giants. Sorry, I got the hiccups. So, a lot of people chose South Karana, and I was trying to think, what makes South Karana different from the other zones that people would prefer? And I thought of two things. Number one, geographically, ooh, they do giant port maps, that'd be cool. 
geographically a plane, because the, they're all planes of corona, right? A plane as a noun, not the kind that fly through the air. Plane as a noun is an extensive area of level or rolling treeless country. That's from Merriam-Webster. And I thought, okay, none of them really actually fit that definition because this noise is driving me nuts. Because they all have trees and they have a lot of trees, but South Karana is the one that has maybe not the least number of trees, but it has the most small trees. So like you'll see trees in all the zones. Oh shit, is this where I'm going? Oh, I think I think I know where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. South Karana kind of fits that definition of a plain the best because even though it still has a lot of trees, I find that it has the most wide open space of tiny trees, whereas the other ones have a lot of big trees. So West Karana also comes to mind, although it does have a fair number of trees because it has the farmland more so than the others. But that was just one little thing that I thought of. The other thing is, and by the way, like East Karana has a lot of the mountainous stuff. West Karana has some, but the other thing about South Karana that I realized was that's the one that is the most like a destination, whereas the other three Karana zones seem like transient areas that you run through. Oh, I thought I was about to hit the zone, so I stopped talking. <laughs> so if you think about, you know, let's say you just do a slash who in all four of the zones. And then you do a slash who five minutes later. You're more likely to see the same, oh my god, wow, I just put a red shaman NPC right there. Scare the hell out of me. I could have easily just ran into that thing. You do a slash who five minutes later, and the zone that you're most likely to see the same, the most number of pe the most number of people still in it five minutes later is South Karana. So that kind of highlights my point. If you're in North Karana or East Karana or West Karana, chances are those aren't your destinations. You're running through them to get somewhere. You're running through, you know, West Karana to get to Quinos. You're running through East Karana to get to High Pass or Runny Eye or Misty Thicket or whatever. You're running through North Karana to get to maybe South Karana. Wow, I didn't think that these things would make that sound. I figured North Karana reminds me of the Beatles. So, South Karana is the one that feels the most like a destination where that's where you're going to level, or I guess you could throw in uh, Split Paw as sort of a reason to go to South Karana. But the other zones feel like the zones you run through to get somewhere. South Karana is the only one of the four that feels like it's it's the one you're going to. Now, that's just in general, because there's counterexamples. Like, I x in East Karana. That's where I was going. I x in North Karana. Well, I didn't really enjoy that. But, and you, there are things. Like, in West Karana, I mean, what are the real highlights of that zone? You've got the Ogre Camp where people will XP. Uh, that's about it. The Miller Farm, maybe a little bit. Maybe, I mean, occasionally a hill giant will pop up. It's like you're kind of just running through West Karana for sure. North Karana, definitely, because there's not, I mean, there's a port zone, port zone in there. Two of them, actually, Druid and Wizard. But for the most part, you're kind of just hoping something pops up on track, like a hill giant or a griffin. And East Karana, other than the spiders and the gnolls, there's not really anything to XP there. I'm, I'm not counting little bandit camps and whatnot. So I think I understand why South Karana is the destination and the others are sort of transient. And that's probably, that's my theory why it got the most votes. Okay, so the reason why I ran here is because I want to go to Kearns. Now you're probably saying, oh, didn't you already do Kearns? Yes, but I'm going to do a part of Kearns that I didn't do before. Yes, you've seen me do Kearns before. But you haven't seen me do this part of Kearns. And by this, I mean the very, very basement. Now, when people think of the basement, I think oftentimes they think of what's not really a basement. They think of, like, the bottom part. Let's see how many people are here. Hmm. Not too many. Not bad. It's a Saturday, so I figured there might be some... Oh, I meant to move this. Yeah. 
What? Someone said I look tasty. Cracked staff boys. Okay. So I'm going to the cave part of Kearns, which is really the basement, the true basement. And I'm probably going to regret not binding myself here. I have this weird thing where <laughs> this is going to sound really stupid. Wow. I was here so long ago. And these things would still give me XP. So I'm going to use my faction with the Briani. That's how I pronounce it. And my Invis vs. Undead to get down there. I Okay, so I have this weird thing about... His, people are going to say this is so stupid. And it is. I will admit it's petty and stupid. I want to try and get to 60 without changing my bind spot once. I want my bind spot to remain Steam Fun Mountains. Now, I regretted that a lot when this Kunark Rhino sent me back to my bind spot and I was so far away. But... It's just, I don't know, there's like a purity aspect of it. Like I went through the whole game and I never changed my bind spot. Obviously right now it would be really convenient for me to bind myself in the over there where there's merchants or even just right outside Kern's Tower. By the way, I have no idea how to, I just, I run into it eventually. The good thing is I don't have to worry about these Briani. I always thought there was one in here somewhere, but I never seem to see it. Oh, Lesser Icebone, that's kind of the, one of the ones I want to kill. And of course it scares me every time one of those Briani starts running. Let's see here. In this new setup, by the way, my keyboard should be quieter, which is a good thing. I'm not going to talk about all of the... Oh, here it is. Oh, my God. That was scary. Okay. This is the one I think that causes the least amount of fall damage. Now, I may... Let's see. How far down does that look? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I heard that there was one skeleton down here, a named, that has... Uh, Biryani faction. So I will try to avoid that one. Okay. Should I just do it? Should I just jump down? Oh, let me make sure I'm recording because this will be entertaining if I die. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Oh, God. Oh, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Maybe I should have hit the Vinora. <laughs> okay. There's a safe spot ish down here that I like to go to. What was that again? A lesser ice bone? Oh, a, scale, a greater scale bone. Okay. That's not too scary. So this is why I saved my faction with the Briani earlier. Because I can just run right past these suckers, never have to worry about them. Maybe I go through here? Ugh, I don't like this. My swimming skill. By the way, I up my swimming skill a lot. Oh, I have a story about how I got here. Um, I ran through Oasis and all that. Where is the damn... I'm running out of breath. Where? Where? What the heck? This is so scary. I hate when they do this. Okay, I don't know if that goes anywhere, but I don't have the swimming school. So I ran here... The, the, I ran from the Karanas from West Karana through... All the way through High Pass, uh, East Karana High Pass, through the road deserts, the common lands, all that. And I went to the Oasis dock. And I will talk about what happened there. I almost died again. Okay, I'm near, this is, I think this is near the exit. So I wanna show this part, cause this is like, no, this is where I fell down. Oh, this goes to the exit, okay. I'll, I'll get a handle, okay, up there goes to the exit. I'll get a handle on this place. The skeletons down here tend to be higher level. Oh, fudge, I didn't mean to zone. Well, there's a zone. All right, I'll do that again. I'll get myself situated and I'll come back. Okay, I might show this because this is the other way that you can fall. Gosh, I'm hesitant to do this because last one took so many hit points. All right, I could survive it even if it's another 116. This one just feels like a longer fall. Oh, it was. That was 173. That was painful. And is this the zone out again? Okay, seriously, is this the zone out? Because... No, I don't think it is. Hmm. I, I definitely need to reacquaint myself with this area. I used to have it all memorized. Is that water? That is water. I wonder if that goes anywhere. Nah. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. 
Interesting. Okay, well, there is a specific camp area that I want to show. Oh my god. I accidentally zoned out again! Damn it. You know what, I should just look at a map. Okay, before I come back again, I will look at a map. I need to heal myself, I can't keep falling over and over. Oh, wow. Okay, I just... I did not think I would make that jump. Maybe because I have so... I was trying to land on that... Oh, 173 again. Ouch. All right, now that my so has faded, or is about to, I think I know where to go. Hmm, there's a blue. This looks like the area that I would XP in. Yes, yes, yes. Because I can kill right in front of these. Hmm. Or is it? What's that one down there? Those are charbone. That is Kern's exit. <laughs> Don't need to keep going up there. Hmm. Problem is, I think something wanders through here. Okay. Well, let me just do this. I don't know the wandering patterns yet. The funny thing is, the last time I was here, and I have a weird memory for stuff like this. I should be able to bring this guy down pretty quick. The last time I was here, and Xping was also in January. It was in January 2016. So it's been, God, what is that? No, that's six years. Oh my goodness gracious. It doesn't seem like that's six years ago. See, it's scary because this guy will run right up on you, but he is just watching. He's just an observer. Just an observer. He's about to observe me killing this guy. I'm going to get so many bone chips here. So I did see, unfortunately, this almost deterred my plan, but I was like, no, I'm not going to let it. They recently changed it, the Zem, Zone Experience Modifier. Kearns now gives you less experience than it used to. Oh, and I died, which will cause me to... I mean, I, I don't even remember how much XP I had, because I haven't played in a couple weeks. But, yeah. So... It's going to take a while. Uh, I think they actually made it so current is now negative 10 or 15. Oh, God. I should probably go to a zone that's positive. In fact, let me pull up that list right now. Okay, I'll show a, a list of the list, a uh, list of the zones now. But Kern is minus 15%. So they really want me to go. Uh, where do they want me to go for my level? Uh, Mismore plus 10%. I don't understand how arena is plus 10%. What the hell does that mean? There's no NPCs there. Warslick Woods and Field of Bone. I guess I could do those. Lake of Ill Omen, that could be good. And pretty much everything else is outside of my level range, so it's not gonna happen. I also don't know if they've made it so that I don't need to hit meditate. Let's see what happens here. So 72, 74. I know that comes in one of the changes. And when I got that port, so that used to be a thing that would happen. Those ports to like Skyfire and Emerald Jungle, you could only do those from inside of a Kumnark dungeon. So you basically had to run to like uh, Droga or Nurga to get a port to dress. I don't know, it didn't make sense, but they changed it so now you can do this from anywhere. It looks like I don't need to hit Meditate because it's going up at a pretty decent pace. Now let's hit it and see if anything changes. It's still going up the same rate. So I, I think they did make that change. You still need the spell book open? Well, maybe you don't actually. Let's see what happens if I just sit. I'm at 90. 93, I think they changed it. I don't think I need to hit meditate anymore. I guess one way to check for sure would be 
to sit down after I level and see if meditate goes up. I should always have him versus Undead on. That was not the spot, by the way, that I want to XP in. That was just a spot that I found one in. There was a specific spot that I really liked in this area. It's going to take me a while to reacquaint myself. So let me talk about something else that happened. So when I did that run to get to the over there. Oh, this is a dead end. When I did that run, of course, I had to go through Oasis because I, I decided that would be way faster than doing the Fury on a Fire. So I also less dangerous. I was sitting at the dock. Isn't that a song? Sitting at the dock of the bay. Come here, buddy. No. Hopefully I don't get more than one. Okay, good. So I'm sitting at the dock, and that's when I upped my swimming skill. My swimming skill now is 92. Wow, that's a lot higher than it was last time. I'm waiting for that little raft to come to the dock in Oasis. And I'm trying to avoid any, you know, sand giants. Kazel or Sazel, however you say it, walks around there. And what should happen, but as I'm swimming, I decide to just hit F8 just to see if anything was nearby me. I was in third person mode. And although I didn't see him, F8 targeted Lockjaw. And I was like, oh no. And then I thought, wait a minute, I'm a lot higher level than the last time Lockjaw killed me. Oh, I need to update my death count too. I think I'm at six now, maybe seven. So I'm a lot higher than the last time Lockjaw killed me, but he was still red. I conned him and he was still red. And I looked him up and he's apparently level 25. So it ain't going to be a while till I can kill him. Oh, someone's killing Briannis. I wonder if they're down here. Although you get all the spam from the vertical like people up there. I'm still hitting meditate as a habit. So I'm like, yeah, I better keep cool. Stay away from Lockjaw. I pan the camera around a bit until I can see him. And he's... He's not too far away. I was actually a little bit surprised he didn't aggro me. Thankfully, I did have so. I'm sitting there for a while longer, and he, he floats away. He's swimming underwater. So the, the little raft finally comes. And when it comes, I get on it. I'm floating away. I'm probably about 30 seconds from hitting the zone line. And who should I get attacked by from underneath the raft but Lockjaw? He starts attacking me as I'm on the raft to go to Timorous Deep. So... I'm like, oh shoot, what do I do? Like, could I possibly survive until the zone line? And he's taken down my health pretty fast. I'm like 70%, 75% after a couple of rounds of hits. I'm like, no, I don't think I can wait. I would have hit Divine Aura, but you can't do it when you're on one of those uh, rafts or any kind of boat. It says you're too distracted to cast a spell. Yeah, I'm too distracted from Lockjaw kicking my ass. So it's funny because I can't even see him. He's attacking me from under the boat. It's like one of those horror movies like Jaws. And I decide, because they gave you this little levitate effect when you're on the boat in this server, I just ran to the nearest pier, or what, what do they call them, piers? I think they do, or a pillar. There's all those pillars along the water and oasis. I ran to that, and I got there before levitate wore off. And because I had so, I was able to run to the zone. And I was kind of like, hmm, should I run to North Row, or should I run to South Row? Because I'm kind of in between. And there was actually a group sitting there waiting, uh, not waiting, but just exping closer to South Row. So I was like, no, nah, no, nah, let me get run to the North Row. I don't want to train these people. And I said, I out a char character, Lockjaw to North Row. And it took a while for that little raft to come. And by the time it finally came, I had to jump off of it and evacuate because of Lockjaw. So then I had to wait a while longer for it to come again. I mean, Lockjaw just really has this habit of inconveniencing me. I am absolutely going to get revenge on that mofo. The problem is if he's 25, I won't safely be able to kill him until maybe 29, 28 maybe. I think 29 is spell level. But it's not one of those things like, oh, level 26 you should build. No, like he would still kick my butt at 26. I got to wait until a couple levels, maybe 27. I, even that would be risky. I would say 28, 29. 29 if I get new spells for sure. So yeah, Lockjaw once again inconvenienced me. Seems to be a theme. I will get my revenge on that jerk. Footage of that would have been good, but I didn't think it was worthy. Because um, I didn't know it was going to happen. I seem to be running over the same areas.
I like this little area. It's all these little Briannis. It's like they're at the watering hole. I know I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. What the, This particular area has the potential to spawn a named, but I'm not killing these. And I won't, because I want that faction. Uh, I do kind of want to try my swim skill here. See if I can find out what's underneath here. Let's find out together. I could have just looked at a map. Uh huh. Ooh, hello, a lesser ice bone skeleton. I'm looking for one of those. The problem here is. Well, there's one right there as well. That would probably be more convenient. Damn sure not fighting underwater. Where, where would be a safe space? Let's see where he paths to. Does he just go around a circle here? Or this isn't a circle. <gasps> Ooh, good thing I didn't. Oh, I seem to remember this. I think he does path further that way. Yep, he continues the path. And this guy's static. He won't move. He might be a good one to kill them. Because he could respawn as something higher. So he walks right up to the water, but not into it. Interesting. And then I'm guessing his next path actually would be backwards. Yep, he's going back. Okay, I, I think this one's going to be tricky to pull. And I think something else wanders over here, but I don't see anything right now. I wonder if that swimmer ever moves. Either way, I should be able to safely pull him down here. Oh, look at that. He starts going backwards. Dang, this is going to be tricky. So these cave areas are great for necros, clerics. I was here with my necro last. Here, I should be able to get him single. Anything that can hunt undead... Uh, I would say early 20s, because these guys can go, uh, either these or the Charbones can go up to 19 or maybe even 20. So it can be a little risky. And I, I guess if you're, really as long as you have good Brigani faction coming down here. But see, this zone used to have a huge XP modifier, so now that they've done that whole minus 15 thing, maybe it's not worth it anymore. Ah, I, I, I like to stick with the plan. My plan was to spend 21 here. Although I would Truth be told, I would love a res. So this is one way to do searches. Who all cleric over there? Or you can just do who all. You gotta do the name as it appears when you do the who all. There are no clerics that aren't anonymous. My corpse is at Skyfire. At this level, I don't really need a res. It's not a big deal, but it would be nice. And if I, if I got a res, I don't think I'd bother coming back here. Because they've nerfed this zone. It's not as good XP anymore. I mean, that was still decent. And yeah, I could do it. It wouldn't take too long, really, to get through this level here. But Oh, maybe I should have gone to Unrest, which I will probably go to next level. All right, for now, I'm going to take a break. Uh, I have one more thing I want to talk about, and I will do that when I come back. And we're back in Bronze and Purple in the basement of Kern's Tower. Now you might be wondering why I ran all the way here from very far away, especially since I've already been in this zone. Well, this zone, especially this bottom part, has something unique going for it, and I'll explain what that is. You can kind of see it here. So first of all, I'm pretty close, maybe two kills, probably one kill away from Ding. Let me just run through here real quick. Totally ignore the Briani when I describe this. Check out this skeleton on his own. That one, on his own. That one, totally isolated. And I think there's one down here. Yep, this guy, isolated. Is there one more? I think there is. Yep, this guy, isolated. Again, ignore the biryani. They're not, they don't got beef with me. I don't got beef with them. We don't count them. We do have, in fact, got up. We do have a wanderer somewhere around here. So this guy isolated, I can pull him separate from this guy. This guy here. Here we go. Here's a wanderer. 
And sometimes when you come up to like this area, you might see him standing there and say, well, look at this. I couldn't pull that guy solo or that guy. I might even get that guy. That's pretty risky. Well, this guy's a wanderer. We know that not just because we saw him walk up here, but because he's standing in the middle. See how this guy's off to the side? This guy's off to the side. They're not, they're statics. They're going to stay there. The guy who's standing in the middle in this game, typically that's your wanderer. Not always the case. I can think of a couple instances in Upper Guck, for example, where you will have mobs just standing right in the middle of the hallway. Normally they don't though. And let me put my buffs on. Although I am about to rebuff. The reason why this is fairly unique, or I'm describing it as unique, is because in this game, you typically have to make a choice. And I've talked about this a little bit before. The choice is, do you want to be in an outdoor zone where you're pretty safe, you can pull singles pretty easily to like a zone wall or something. You don't have to worry about ads. You can run away if you need to. You can have Spirit of Wolf, all that kind of stuff. Or, you know, the downside to that is you're going to get less XP. Let me just get the full mana here. You're not going to get as good a loot. You're not going to get as good an experience. Or do you want to be in a dungeon where the mobs are closer together, there's a lot higher risk of death, but the XP is better and the loot is better? Now, ignore the fact that they nerfed the XP in this zone. Temporarily, by the way, the Zem. Ignore that. But that's typically the choice that you have to make in this game. Do you want to be in South Carolina where you can single pull nulls, or do you want to go into Split Paw where you have a bunch of them crammed right next to each other. Well, guess what? You're going to get more XP and probably better loot in Split Paw. This zone is an anomaly because I can run around here and not have to make that choice. I basically get the best of both worlds. This guy's a single. This guy's a single. That guy up there. Bet you he's a single. Yep, there's a Wanderer, but just take out the Wanderer when the Wanderer's in an area like this where he's all alone. Again, ignore the Briani. This gives you the safety and security of single pulls with the, ooh, everything respawned, the extra XP of being in a dungeon. That is why I like this zone so much. Now, again, if you have bad Biryani faction, throw what I just said out the window because you're not going to get safety and security here. I mean, look at these guys. Half of them are shamans, by the way. They're all buffing each other. If you're here for the undead, totally doable. And... If you come down here with a group, I think you could do the Briani as well. In fact, I was down here earlier with a couple other people, well, really one other person, that not duoing, just we were both down here exping. There was not enough XP. Ooh, starting to appear. Good thing there's nothing around me. <laughs> there was not enough XP for both of us, really. I just logged out. I didn't even talk to the guys. Like, I think we have a mutual understanding here. There's not enough going on. So... It's a great spot. I would say at level 21, the only ones that have really given me a problem and brought me close to dying were these uh, Charbones. And interestingly, this one says looks quite risky, but a few of them have said looks kind of dangerous. So let's do this guy. Should be a nice quick kill. Coming at you. This, it's been a really good, simple XP time down here. It's a small area, it's smaller than it looks. I know when you first see it, everything kind of looks the same. Come on. But it's small enough that you could clear out all the skeletons. I will admit, up in that area near the exit, it looked like there were a few kind of crowding around each other. But you're also right by the exit. So this, this zone does a great job of bucking that trend. Unfortunately, right now, the GMs of the server have decided to nerf it a bit with the Zim. I'll put that up again just so you can see what it is. I think it's like minus 15 right now. I think they're just trying to spread the wealth around. Oh, since I'm about to ding, let me do... Oh, apparently not. 498 slash 427. Now, I thought about something while I was here. I've gotten a ton of bone chips, by the way. Yeah, about four stacks. Thought about something while I was here. A long time ago, back in the day... I camped the Undead Jester in this zone. The Undead Jester drops the Ixar Berserker Club, which I will put up on the screen now so you can see the stats and compare it to my current uh, 
one hand blunt. So it's a lot better. It's 10 faster, which is huge. It has some stats, it has a proc. I would totally use it. The only downside is it's heavier. And I can't remember if it's magic or not. That'll have to, well, I guess you can see that. I can't, it is magic. Okay, I thought about camping that, but I saw something interesting as I looked on the wiki. Number one, on live, I remember doing the camp very well. You had to kill a wanderer who wandered through this little stable area. Apparently on P99, it's a static spawn that you have to kill. I don't like that. I don't know why they changed that. Whatever. But that's still doable. Here's the downside. The mob that's the placeholder for the, the undead jester apparently is on the Briani faction. So I would screw up my Briani faction. Now, at first I thought, okay, well then that's out. I'm not going to do that. But realistically, I don't have the plat to upgrade my weapon anytime soon. This weapon already is an upgrade for me. I thought, well, what if I ding? And then I'm pretty sure, because I could stay here another level easily, especially with these char bones. I just don't want to. I want to show some other areas. I want to go back to unrest, especially. I thought, well, what if I'm on my way out of here and I camp it? Because then what do I care if I'm losing my Briani faction? I mean, I can just gate once I get the club. Assuming there aren't Briani around the spawn, I don't care about losing my Briani faction. I mean, these guys are all, just to confirm, these guys are all dubious. I've probably got one kill. It might give me a buffer of two kills, but I probably have one kill. Where then I have to worry about, oh, am I going to, you know, get killed by Biryani while I'm just sitting there waiting for this undead jester? Because it's a skeleton that has this faction, which makes no sense to me why an Ixar skeleton would have a uh, Biryani faction. But clearly they're just trying to screw up your Biryani faction. So I'm not sure. I've, I've been thinking about doing that on my way out of here. Camp the thing, kill it, lose all the faction. When am I ever going to see Briani again? The only place I can think of is Frontier Mountains. I guess also those goblin zones that no one goes to, um, Droga and Nurga. Yeah, but no one goes there. No one really goes to Frontier. I mean, I'm certainly not going to be hunting in the middle of Frontier Mountains. I can't think of any other zone in the game where Briani are. And even those ones I just mentioned, once I get past like level 40, they're an afterthought. They're not high enough level to really mess with me, so... I might do that, and then once I get it, because I can't run out of here, I can only run out of here with uh, Invis vs. Undead. If I know a Briani faction, they see through Invis vs. Undead, so I can't do it. I would have to just gate. But if I'm going to Unrest anyway, I might just do that, because uh, the place that I gate to is right next to Unrest. So, All right, let's get my last kill here. The, in the other interesting thing is the... Greater scale bones, which are the lowest. So there's basically three skeletons down here. There's the charcoal, lesser charcoal. Are they lesser? Yeah, they're lesser. Those are the highest level. I don't know what level exactly, but they're the highest. There's the ice bone, which are in the middle. They all say looks quite risky. I've not seen any that say looks kind of dangerous. And then there's the greater scale bone. Half the greater scale bone are green. Actually, more than half. I would say two-thirds are green. There's, look at that. Now, that guy would definitely ding me, <laughs> but he might also kill me. I've had a, a Charbone come close to killing me, like really close. Uh, I think I'll finish. So here's an example of a scale bone that's blue. Here's another scale bone that's blue. In fact, mm, you know what I want to do? I want to do that one ice bone that's isolated by himself, like completely alone. Oh, this is the angle some people said they wanted to see me play in. Uh, I don't know if I like it. Maybe if I get a little bit... I, I kind of don't like the way my character runs. This is the one I'm talking about, the one down here. Way down in the bottom. You. What do you con? Cool. This should be easy. Might even put on a little yelp. This level has been very relaxing, which is another reason why I recommend this place, because it's just a quick, easy... You know, you can go AFK, you can multitask if you need to. I just think it's an easy way to get XP from level, I would say, 20 to 23. 23... I mean, you could get through 23. If you wanted to stay in one area, you could do it. I don't really recommend running here. It's a pretty dangerous run for most races that aren't Ixar. If you're an Ixar, definitely. 
I mean, unless you just get sick of Kunark and you want to go to Unrest or something, this is a great spot. When I was down here earlier and that other person was down here, they were an Ixar Necro. Ironically, the third person that came by, and I think they were like, oh no, it's, it's way too crowded down here, and then it left, was an, a gnome cleric. What are the odds I see another gnome cleric down here? Come on, just finish him. Come on. This is why I need that faster club. Ho! Oh, 22, and one hand blunt goes up on the kill. I love it. Okay. What is this, daring? Okay, so we're going up to, well, let's just see what we were at real quick. 498 is now 518, so that's up 20. Good. And I'm gonna guess this one for up. 427, so that's still 427. Yeah, it's still 427. All right, so if I do the Undead Jester thing, I will film it. If I don't, Obviously, I won't film something that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, let me know if you have any thoughts of where I should go next, because I'm fine doing unrest for one level, like grouping and unrest. But I don't know. I might be forgetting something. So let me know. By something, I mean like an interesting area. Like I thought about Black Bro, but I'm th I think I'm past Black Bro. I don't think there's really anything there. All right, let me know. And we will be back.